Hey, I just made $129,814 flipping a property using business credit cards. I'm gonna walk you through the property, then show you the numbers, and I'm gonna show you how you can replicate the process for yourself. Hey, where are we going? We're going to the McVicker property. <laughs> Is this the deal from hell? Yeah, yeah, dude, totally. Uh, this is the one that uh, I bought as a real estate distress note in 2011. And then um, I had to drag it through foreclosure. It was mid foreclosure uh, when I purchased it with a previous lender. I dragged it uh, through foreclosure. We tried to work things out with the borrower. They didn't want to loan mod or anything. So um, they did file bankruptcy four minutes before the auction, which pushed the, the foreclosure auction about two or three months back. Uh, I was kind of pissed about that because they didn't do anything with the bankruptcy. They didn't uh, follow through on the plan or anything like that. So they never even filed one for that matter. But anyways, uh, we ended up uh, renting it back to the son of the guy that got foreclosed on once we took it, the property back. And then uh, three years, that lease was good and then finally we decided to sell it so they ended up leaving um, and I decided to sell it as is it was in uh, horrible condition uh, I left enough meat on the bone for the next investor so someone was gonna rehab it and flip it this person the, the deal ended up falling apart the day before Thanksgiving last year right so <laughs> there was all because of a small lien from the city that uh, the buyer knew about. It was on title. We provided the title to them a month prior. So their attorney knew about it, but just overlooked it and then killed the deal at the last minute. The wire was actually at the title company when the deal fell through um, the day before Thanksgiving. So that's not something I was thankful for. <laughs> but uh, anyways, fast forward, we ended up doing the rehab ourselves under contract right now uh, there was actually a bidding war when we put it on the market it's under contract for 18 grand more than asking price and that's never happened to me before so I'm like super excited about this it's like the deal from hell turned into a sweet deal and uh, we're gonna go check it out right now all right awesome cool so you excited I am all right and I'll show you the rehab and uh, all the all the stuff that they've done to it Unfortunately, I don't have any befores because they tore it down and uh, built it back up so quick. And by the way, I've never seen this thing, believe it or not. I've never seen it until right now. We're going there. This is the first time I'm going to see it, and I've had it since 2011. So uh, everything was handled by uh, George. So yeah. it's a bittersweet deal for me. So let's go check it out. So we arrive at the property, we record the whole walkthrough, then we get back to the office and realize there's no audio. I guess that's what you get when you get a bunch of finance guys operating a camera. So I'm gonna voice it over for you, enjoy. So we arrive at the house and Dan goes, is this the house? And I say, no, it's not. We're just standing in front of a random stranger's house. What do you think? He goes, all right, all right, quit being a smart ass and just do the showing. So as you can see, we got brand new siding and brand new gutters on this house. Of course, on the way in, Dan points at me and rolls his eyes. He thinks I'm not gonna see it, but the camera sees everything. We get inside, I adjust my shades. We got brand new hardwood floors, as you can see. Dan mentioned the windows have stickers on them. Are they brand new? Of course, all the windows are brand new. We got two bedrooms on the main floor. There is bedroom number one. And there's bedroom number two. Hardwood floors throughout. New paint, new trim. There's a bathroom in between. Here's the bathroom. All right. Now we move on to the kitchen, which is towards the back of the house. Here's the kitchen. They haven't put all the knobs and pulleys on all the cabinets and uh, drawers, so. And you move on to the back porch. When we took this property over, the backyard was a complete mess. It had a bed tree in the back. We removed it and we resided it. And we 
go downstairs, there's a closer look at the backyard. We put a brand new air conditioning unit, and there's new siding all around the house, including the garage. There's a lower level, which we didn't really go into. Go back up, there's another look at the kitchen. A quick tip, we didn't put super high-end kitchen on this because this property is actually located in a middle-of-the-line area. It's not necessarily what you'd call a luxury home area. So everything we put in, uh, bathroom fixtures right there, uh, they're pretty basic. I mean, it's, uh, it's nice, but it's not super high-end. We didn't put marble and granite all around because the property does not warrant it. And we move on to the upstairs and this is the master bedroom upstairs and that is it guys that's the property at the beginning i promised you some numbers on this deal so here they are the property sold for two hundred and ninety thousand dollars and out of that i ended up netting two hundred and sixty four thousand six hundred and twenty nine dollars and eighty seven cents this is what landed in my account after all the dust settled with realtor commissions closing cost attorney fees uh, tax preparations and some of the other mumbo jumbo that's in there. So, $264,629.87. Remember, I paid $64,500 for the note and $70,315 in rehab and legal fees. So, we end up with $129,814.87. In net profit. And now comes the real fun part. How did I finance 100% of the purchase and rehab? Well, easy. I used business credit card checks like this one. See, what I did was I set these up ahead of time before the deal came along. And since there's no interest due, as long as I don't draw the funds, I didn't pay any interest on them. And I don't pay any interest because I used one of these checks, which is 0% for a period of time. And what we do is we show all of our clients how to continuously get 0% balance transfer checks. And I actually dragged this out for seven years and didn't pay any interest at all, guys. Now, I don't wanna make this whole thing about me. It's not about me and I'm no smarter than you are. However, I'm just trying to make a point that these deals are out there and we've set up hundreds of clients on these products that are executing. What sets you apart from all of them is whether or not you have the funding to execute when the deal of a decade comes your way. So here's my offer. I'm willing to set you up with the same funding options that I used to take down this deal. We'll start with a free consultation and do a credit review and see if this is for you. Because who knows, it may not even be for you. If it happens to be a good fit for you, I'll go to work on your behalf and set you up with the same accounts that I have. There should be a link somewhere around this video. Find that link and submit your pre-approval. For Midwest Corporate Credit, I'm PK Patel and I look forward to working with you. You're still here? What are you doing here? Go submit your pre-approval.